we have a rectangle, and we know that the length is 3x plus 4. Let's call that L. And we know that the breadth is 5 centimeters. Let's call that B. But we also, at the same time, know that the perimeter, which we'll call P, is 30 centimeters. We know that the perimeter can be written as 2 times the length plus 2 times the breadth. So now we put in our, our perimeter we know, it's 30, we can put in numbers here now, equals 2 times the length, 2 multiplied by, the length is 3x plus 4, plus 2 times the breadth, which we know is 5. So here's our first equation of working out the perimeter, and now we can expand our brackets. 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times plus 4 is plus 8, 2 fours are 8, plus 2 times 5 is 10. So we now know that 30 equals 6x plus 8 plus 10. We add our numbers together, so we get that 30 equals 6x plus 18. Now we've only got x's and numbers, so what we want is we want numbers on one side and x's on the other. The easiest way is to keep the 6x here on the right hand side and take away 18 from both sides of the equation. If I do that, I get 18 minus 18 here, which gives me 0, which is what I want. It's, given, it's taken away the numbers on the right hand side. I then get equals... 30 minus 18 on the left hand side, 30 minus 18 is 12, so I now know that 6 lots of x equals 12. To get what 1 lot of x is, I don't want to know what 6 lots of x is, I want to know what 1 is. I divide both sides of my equal sign by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2, 6x divided by 6 is x. So we know now that x equals 2. What do we do? Well, the final thing we do here is we check that we've done everything right. If we've done everything right and x equals 2, then 3x is 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So the length would be 10 and the breadth would be 5. The perimeter would then be 10 plus 5, which is 15. 15 times 2 is 30 centimeters. So if I've done everything right and solved x correct, these two numbers should be identical, 30 centimeters, which they are. Therefore, I've done everything correct. Okay? So this is how we solve any equation. If we know the perimeter and they've put x's in there, we just use our skills in perimeter using al um, geometry to actually calculate x. So we've got a combined geometry and um, algebra question here.